definitely not doing anything to touch. Okay, let's try setting number two. Now the target is 1.52 kilo ohms for the top and 520 ohms for the bottom. Okay, close enough. 0.54. All right, round two. No change. All right, well, now the target is 1.3 on the top and 0.44 on the bottom. Oh man, it's not spinning. Well, it was worth a shot. I really appreciate you guys that made this suggestion. It absolutely made sense to try it. I'm going to go back to looking for a replacement drive or maybe going the mod chip route. But um, I'll have to come back to this project once I source one of those two things. I will keep an eye on the comments between now and then to see if any other suggestions come in on what I can try. But that's going to be the game plan for now. This is a Thompson drive. And of course, the notorious clock capacitor. And this one's leaking as well. Corrosion on top to the sides. I'm actually surprised this unit turned on and was working fine. But to anyone out there that has not taken this capacitor out of their Xbox yet, unless you have a version 1.6, you need to open up your Xbox and take this capacitor out. This capacitor will leak and it will corrode traces on your board and damage your Xbox. All right, let's plug those two joints. Look at that corrosion. And just to remind you guys, this is the one that I moved from the first Xbox. I mean, this one looks a lot more corroded, like there's been more leakage. And yet, even this one in the first Xbox managed to damage that one trace that I had to repair that was causing the power cycle issues, where the console would just turn on and off on its own, and the power button wasn't working. So imagine how much damage this guy can do. I think I really got lucky that this thing was working. I'm honestly amazed. So, remove your clock cap, guys. I have one of these replacement clock capacitors in stock. I'm going to install that in this Xbox. It's totally unnecessary if you're planning to mod your system because a lot of the modded dashboards can just get the time off the internet, but um, I'm going to install that in this Xbox. We'll just slot this guy in like this and we'll just bend the component legs out a little bit so it doesn't fall out. Those are the two little solder blobs. Look pretty neat. And the uh, capacitor is in. Okay. I'm going to try the hot water trick on this to see if I can just kind of shrink it back in shape. The replacement belts that I have are for the Samsung drive and they're a lot smaller. So I don't have any belts for the Thompson drive. So let's put this guy in some hot water and see if it kind of springs back into shape. So it's not a perfect circle. I think if you look very closely, you can kind of see the memory of where that bend is. But hopefully this helps a little bit. It's not going to make it like new, but it might give it a little bit more life.
when you don't know what the hell you're doing, things like this happen. Yep. All right, here's board number one, if you guys remember the bodge wire board. So I'm gonna try and remove this clip, hopefully without breaking it. I'm gonna take my time with this one. I'm not gonna use any tools in the hopes that I get it off in one piece. You mess something up, you just gotta keep moving. You can't dwell on it too much. This isn't a repair business. This isn't something I'm doing to make money. This is just me combining really two hobbies. You know, my love of retro consoles and fixing electronics and trying to get better at that. And unless you try, you're not going to improve. And you're going to make mistakes along the way. You just have to find a way forward. There's always a solution. And even if it costs me a little bit more money to kind of pay for my mistake, no big deal. At least I'm doing this myself. So don't let that deter you guys from tinkering. It's got an interesting... Really, I just need to move it. Up and out. Come on. Come on. And pressure. Okay, there we go. Oh. Good stuff. All right. Wow. Yeah, thermal paste. That's going to take me a while. Have these cleaned up. That took about 15 20 minutes. That compound was caked on there. It was hard. That's probably way too much, but doesn't matter. When it comes to thermal paste, everyone's got their way of doing it. But really, the key thing to remember is when you're using conductive thermal paste, that's when you have to be concerned. But all this non-conductive stuff, it doesn't really matter if a little bit oozes out because it's not going to cause any issues with the board. It's not going to short anything. All right. That's... Feels good. Great. Perfect. All right. This baby's going to be running cool and quiet. And let's check that DVD tray that was getting stuck. Nice. I have a working Xbox, guys. This is awesome. Hey, everybody. Thank you for going on this two-part Xbox restoration journey with me. Believe it or not, I've never even played an original Xbox, so I'm super excited to add the system to my collection and enjoy it. In terms of what's next for this Xbox, well, I have a one terabyte hard disk on the way, as well as an Aladdin XT mod chip. I plan to do a mod installation video and fill that hard disk all the way up with games. You might be wondering, why not soft mod? Well, I feel like my soldering is getting a little bit better with each project, and I think I'd enjoy the challenge of installing it, and it actually turned out to be a little bit cheaper, since I don't own any of the soft mod games or the USB dongle that I would need. 
As for the parts Xbox, I have plans for that as well. So you'll be seeing it in a future video. In any case, there are a couple of different systems that I'm excited to work on in the next few videos. Somehow my console repair pile keeps getting bigger and bigger, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining. Maybe if you're a beginner as well, you learned something, perhaps even from my mistakes. And all the feedback and advice that some of you guys have shared with me, it's done nothing but improve my repairs and my videos. I really appreciate it. Take care guys. See you in the next video.